Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm really sorry but somehow I lost the intro footage of this video. I have no idea how. So I'm having to work with still pictures. I hope you guys wouldn't mind. So I created this look with the upcoming wedding season and also the New Year's Eve in mind. It's a very very simple but gorgeous look. So I hope you would enjoy it and now let's get into the tutorial. So today I'm starting off with my eye makeup and at first I'm using my MAC Painted Lip Paint Pot and I'm applying it all over my eyelid. This is gonna help cancel out the darkness and also make the eyeshadows last longer. For my eyeshadows today at first I'm using the Meat Matrimony palette from The Balm and from here I'm taking this matte off-white shade and I'm applying it all over my lid. This is going to help get rid of the extra stickiness of the eye primer and the eyeshadows on top would go on smoothly. Then I'm going in with this matte light brown shade which is gonna act as my transition shade and with a Morphe blending brush I'm applying it all over my crease. Then I'm going in with some sticky tape and I'm just going to apply it on my hand a couple of times just to get rid of the extra stickiness and then apply it on my outer corner. And for my eyeshadows now I'm going to use my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. This is I believe palette number 9 or 10. I'm not really sure. I'll put it down in the description box below. So I'm using this matte purple sort of a shade and I'm concentrating it mainly on my outer corner and I'm also bringing a little bit in my crease. Make sure this shade is really blown out and blended because this is also going to act as a transition shade because you would only be seeing a little bit of this purple shade peeking out of the black. And then I'm gonna take this matte burgundy sort of a shade it's kind of like Marcella and with another Sigma blending brush I am just applying it on my outer corner as well as my crease but this time I'm not gonna take this shade as high as the previous purple shade that I've used and now for some darkness on the outer corner so I've taken this black shade from the Meet Matrimony palette and with my Sigma E55 shading brush I'm applying it on my outer corner. I mainly want the darkness to be on the outer corner and when there isn't much product on the brush I'm just gonna drag a little bit into the crease just to blend it out evenly but I'm mainly concentrating it on the outer corner. Next I'm gonna use my Essence I Heart Stage Primer and with a small synthetic concealer brush I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm only cutting my crease halfway and then just fill up this empty space. Then I'm using this ultra shimmery glittery gold eyeshadow from the Natasha Denona palette and I'm applying it with my finger because I feel such shimmery eyeshadows work the best with our finger but just to be a little precise I'm going in with the brush as well just so that my cut crease doesn't get messy with my finger. Then to blend out the shimmer eyeshadow with the black I'm using a little bit of the same purple shade and with a blending brush I'm just blending out the edges. And now it's time for the star of the show. So I'm taking this Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter Eyeshadow and this is in the shade Smoky Storm and with another small synthetic brush I'm just cutting my crease. In fact this eyeshadow is so pigmented that you don't even need a primer to cut the crease at first. You can just straight away go in with this eyeshadow. So now I'm peeling off the scotch tape which was a little too early because I should have done my eyeliner before I did that but oh well when you people are doing it apply the eyeliner first with the scotch tape on and then remove it it's gonna be much more easier to apply the liner but anyway so I've used my NYC liquid eyeliner and now I'm just cleaning up my face with my Bioderma just to get rid of any fallout. So with the cleaning up done now it's time for my face makeup and at first I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm applying it all over my face. 
For my foundation today, I'm using my Fenty Beauty foundation. I'm in the shade 240. So at first, I've dotted it on my face with my finger. This foundation sets really, really fast. So just apply it on one area at first, blend it out, and then go into the other area. So I'm just blending out the foundation with my Beauty Blender. I feel the Beauty Blender works best with this foundation. So I am just applying it on my forehead now. So like I said, do each section at a time. And now for my concealer I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer this is in the shade medium so I'm applying it underneath my eyes in a triangular shape and also my chin my nose bridge and my forehead just to even out and balance out the color on my face and then again I'm using my trusty old beauty blender to blend the concealer out And to set the concealer, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm applying it underneath my eyes at first and then I'm gonna apply it on all the rest of the areas where I've used the concealer. And now to contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matte Stick. This is in the shade Mocha. I just wanted to cream contour today because I feel for a heavy 31st makeup or a wedding makeup, you want your contour to last for a very long time. And doing cream contour and then setting it with powder makes it lasted really really long so I'm contouring my uh, forehead my jawline as well as the sides of my nose and I'm blending everything out using a real techniques contour brush And then to set the cream contour, I'm using the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer. It's very important to set the cream contours or else the cream product can slip and slide throughout the day. So just to be safe, set it with a powder contour as well. For my blush today, I'm using this NARS blush, which I believe is in the shade Dolce Vita. I'm not really sure. I would put it down in the description box. So I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks. And for my highlight, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo. This is in the shade Hustler Baby and Min Money. I'm basically using the shimmery shade from this duo and I'm applying it on my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, nose bridge, cupid's bow. And I'm also applying the same highlighter on my inner corner just to highlight a little bit and also the brow bone. And now to line my waterline, I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner Pencil. This is in the shade Perversion. And to smoke out my lower lash line, at first I'm taking this black eyeshadow with an angle definer brush and I'm applying it really close to my lower lashes. And then to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm taking this Mercilla Burgundy sort of a shade with a smudging brush and I'm just blending out the black eyeshadow to give a really smoky blown out effect. And now it's time for mascara and I'm using my trusty old Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara on both my top and bottom lashes. And then to fill out my brows, I'm using my Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Medium Brown, I believe. And then I'm just using a spoolie to blend out the color and make it look even. And to set my brow hairs in place, I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Medium Dark. And then I've just applied this pair of Ardell Studio FX Demi Wispies Lashes off camera. And to set my makeup, I've used my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And for my lips, today I've used my Colourpop Lip Stick in the shade Lumiere. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family. And until next time, take care and a very happy new year.